Ashes of Creation has been ramping things up these last six months or so as they continue to inch their way very slowly to Alpha 2. And the biggest alpha testing event the MMORPG genre has probably ever seen. Like seriously, when have we ever heard of over 100,000 people testing an alpha and this many people being hyped for an alpha test before the game is even out? It's kind of ridiculous and awesome at the same time. Anyways, if you're an adult with a full life out there and don't have time to sit through every single Ashes of Creation update, that comes through the door, well then you may have missed a thing or two along the way. But now is a chance for you to get caught up as we move into the second half of 2023. But before we do, shout out to those channel members out there. Rolling way back into January, we start off with the most hated Ashes of Creation showcase in a very long time. Let's be honest though, come January of 2023, people were burnt out. They were expecting a big December announcement for the game, which we didn't get, and instead got even less than our usual stream with a studio tour to see devs talking about what they're doing with not a lot of new stuff, a messy cleric preview the month before that, and the Ashes of Creation hype was just at a very low point come January, when Intrepid went to dive into that tank archetype to give us a look at the defensive line of the Holy Trinity. And it was very bad. So bad that Intrepid re-recorded the tank showcase that same day and gave us a much better look at this class because that is what Intrepid does. They respond to feedback and they react and they do it in a very good way. February dragged that hype down through the dirt again with another slower style live stream giving us no new in-game footage at the World of Era but instead going through the design process of the customizable UI we can expect in Ashes of creation. And personally, I enjoyed this stream, but a lot of people did not. The UI though, it's clean, it's not too overly complicated, and it does the job telling you what it needs you to do. We also got our very first look at the crafting UI in this stream, which has also been confirmed to be implemented into the game and undergoing testing before it is ready to be shown to the world. March though is where the hype starts to pick back up again as we dive further into the Tower of Carvin, an area heavily based around Intrepid's new questing tech they are calling Story Arcs. This basically recreates emergent quest hubs within the world that are based off of what is happening due to player interaction. And as nodes level up, bosses are killed, and guild wars rage on with each other, the world will react unlocking and locking content behind these types of activities, giving players time-limited quests to take them further into these changes as the story of their server continues to unfold. A week later, we had another live stream, which was a Q&A with the man himself, Stephen Sharif, where myself, Smurg, and Chibi of the Golden Feather didn't hold back asking Stephen questions about cosmetic bundles, Alpha 2 features such as specific zones, timelines, and a whole lot more of hard-pressed questions that people have been waiting for a while to get answers on. April then brought us the best class archetype yet we have seen as they broke down the mage spell by spell showing off its cool movement abilities, abilities casting around barriers, elemental combos tied into some wand attacks, and this showcase really went to town with breaking down each mage ability as Steven really took the time embracing on the community's feedback on how we want to see these showcases for the classes after the last two archetypes kind of flopped pretty hard. This past month in the May stream was really the moment we have been building up to showing us the Cyclops world boss. This guy has been teased for almost six months now before this point and seeing Ashes of Creation's first world boss finally come together was a pretty cool thing to see for those of us out there who've been following along month after month. This guy is the first world boss that you will encounter in Ashes of Creation if you choose to start your journey in the human starting zone of the Riverlands and is really meant to be an introduction to raiding as he doesn't have an overly complex set of mechanics that rely on certain classes and just focuses overall on the holy trinity of tanks, DPS, and heals. And now, going towards the end of June, we officially know that thanks to Steven in my comments that the June livestream will in fact be the freehold system where we will hopefully see some processing professions come to life while Steven also makes pig chickens run around and cause chaos while explaining how the freeholds will work and showing us some of their features. For miscellaneous info throughout the last six months, well, in the next few months, Intrepid will no longer be selling any pre-order packages for alpha and beta testing, as they have hit their ideal number of testing. They will announce this ahead of time, and this may be something that comes back later on, depending on if they feel they need more numbers or not. Alpha 2 will start with some internal testing at the end of this year, and add Phoenix Initiative, Alpha 1 members, and then eventually Alpha 2 members into it at some point in the beginning of next year. And Intrepid Studios is rapidly growing, and is now 
building a second floor to their studio and just hired Bill Trost, former lead game designer for EverQuest 1 and 2, as a lead game designer for Ashes of Creation, filling a position that has been vacant for almost two years now. This has been a pretty intense first half of the year for Ashes of Creation and we got six more months to go, hopefully before the Alpha 2 news starts picking up and we can have some actual content to make on the channel. What has been your favorite update so far this year? Drop a comment down below and if you're new to Ashes and if you have yet to create an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below where you can jump into the forums, buy some cosmetics, or just hang out until you can finally step foot into the world of Vera. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.